everyone, this is Roger from Lincoln Technology. Today I'm going to show you our new HDMI over IP matrix extender. This is the transmitter. On transmitter, you can see the transmitter ID, which means the channel number. This is the receiver. On receiver, you can see the transmitter connected, which means the number of channel. When the channel number the, the same with the transmitter channel, they will connect with each other. This is the receiver ID. It can help you to mark the displays uh, position or numbers. For this product, we have four amazing advantages. The first one is supports max 100 input channels to unlimited displays. The second one is supports 4K over cut 5 or cut 6 to 120 meters. It can extend to unlimited distance by switch. The third one, we have four way controls. The button controls, the remote control, the PC control, and application control on smartphone. The first one is very flexible to combine your metric system. For example, 5x5 five five metrics, 8x10 metrics, 100x200 metric system. I'm going to show you how to build up a 4x4 metric system. Firstly, we need four transmitters. We need four video resources. We need four receivers. One, two, three, four. We need four displays. And an IGMP switch. We connect with transmitter and the video sources with HDMI cable. Connect receiver with display with HDMI cable. Both transmitter and receiver connect with IGMP switch by cut cables. Next step, we have to set up the transmitter channel into different numbers. For example, uh, number one, number two, number three, and number four. On the receivers, you can see the transmitter connected number. If they show the same number as the transmitter number, they will get connected with each other. For this transmitter, it shows number one, and connect with the number one transmitter. And the two one is output for the transmitter number one. This is uh, uh, number two, number three, and number four. Now I'm going to show you how to change the channels. As I said, we have four ways to change the channels. There, one is the button control. Second one is the remote control. The third one is the PC control. And the first one is the app, app control. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, use the button to change the channels. For example, at present you can see the four TVs display the four different video source. But if you want to display the same video source, for example, for the uh, video force video source, we just need to change the transmitter connected number into the same as number four.
the way to change the channels by web controller. As you can see, the Ford TV displays the same web source. If you want to display the different web source, it's easy to use the remote controller to change the transmitter connect number into a different number. For example, number one, This one set as number two. This reserve set as number three. This one set as number one. The third way to change the channel is by the application. Firstly, we need a matrix controller like this and download a matrix controller application. First step, we have connected the controller with the IGMP switch by cut cable. When the LED flush, that means the controller and the switch connected successfully. And then we open the Wi-Fi. And connect with the matrix hotspot. Then we open the application. Mm -hmm. And we scan the whole metric system. When the scan finished, you can see both transmitter and receiver will be listed in the interface. On this application, it's easy to change the name of the transmitter and receiver. For example, we can set the transmit 1 as DVD 1. We can set the receiver 21 as TV 2. For this application, we have two amazing functions. The first one, we have preview function. For preview function, it can show you what video resources connected to the transmitter. For example, for the transmit one, we just open the preview function, and you can see what's going on on the transmit one. For the transmitter two. The second amazing function is that it's easy to change the channels. As you can see, the four TVs display the same signals. If you want to display different channels, it's very easy to change the channels just like this. Push the transmitter and slide into the receivers as you want. And you can see the TV2 already change the channels. Let's push the transmitter and slide to the release receiver. You can see TV3 also change channels. And on this application, it's very easy for you to check which channel connected with which receivers. For example, transmitter 1 connected with receiver 11, transmitter 3 connected with receiver 21.
about is all the introduction of HTML over IP matrix extender. At present we have 1080p version, 4K 30Hz version and 4K 60Hz version for your choice. For more detailed information, please contact us. Thanks for watching.